Everyone thought Band of the Wolf had no good death cards until they revealed the very last card of the set. I'm going to show you guys a crazy combo idea and how I brought a god back from the dead. This deck could be nuts. Let's check it out. First, let's break down the new death cards that are going to be used in this combo. There's a 4 mana Perseverance, we already saw this card, summon 3 1-1 one, one zombies to attack a target. If a zombie summoned this way is destroyed, summon another zombie. So you're getting 6 zombies here, and don't forget zombies have leech, so the floor of this card isn't that bad. You're going to get to heal for 3, probably take out a target, and then you get 3 more zombies on the board if you took out like a 3-3 three, three or something, so then maybe you heal for 6 overall. It's pretty strong. It's not the best card in the world, but it's not bad. Now, where the ceiling of this card comes into play, decent floor, pretty high ceiling, is that you can pair this with other cards that just make it crazy. One such card is this new card that they just revealed. That card is called Bitter Endings. It's a three mana spell. If your god has 15 health or less, add a six or seven mana legendary death creature to your hand and set its cost to zero. If you do, at the end of your next turn, take 15 damage. It's already been clarified. You do get to choose which card you want to take. It's not random. So here are the nine options that you have for death legendaries that are six or seven mana that you can get for free. Most of these would not be very good if you said you get this for free, but the following turn you die, right? So Arch of Amenmos, that's not going to help you at all. If you're dead the next turn, this is way too slow. Obviously, most of these don't really work. However, Nefru has a little bit of reach. If you just need to do three extra damage, there you go. You can get your three extra damage. And then where it gets really interesting is cards like the Quorum of Pharaoh's Past, where if you have a bunch of heirlooms in your void, you can get an extra Quorum. You could play Bitter Endings twice and get two Quorums of Pharaoh's Past and play your own. You could play three Quorums all on the same turn. And the really crazy combo that I played around with earlier today that I'm going to show you guys a video of is the Harvester. When a creature dies, deal two damage to both gods. When your god takes damage, heal your god for two. When your god is healed, this creature gets plus one strength. This card is very difficult to understand. It's a lot of text. But basically, it deals two damage to both gods every time a creature dies. And then your god heals, so it doesn't really do damage to your face. So you're going to want to get the Harvester. Once you have the Harvester for free, the following turn, you can drop it and then play an Empire Reborn, which is destroy a creature. Its controller summons two base copies of the creature that each gain Solus. Now you have two of the Harvesters, and you spent four mana. Necronomics is a very staple card in all these death combos. You get to regen five mana. So you're going to play Empire Reborn, Necronomics, and then top it all off with a Perseverance. That is three creatures getting blitzed into one of your opponent's creatures and dying and then summoning three more. Then you could play Ragnarok, which is going to wipe out the extra three plus do three more damage for a total of 27 damage in one turn. Prior to this, on a previous turn, you could play Skull Scepter. Now you're doing 33 points of damage. There's also ways where you could play two Bitter Endings and get three Harvesters on the board. So there are a lot of ideas out there now for OTKs with these new death cards. It seemed like they didn't get any good cards, but in fact, it actually seems like they got some really ridiculous cards. They might end up being memes. They might end up being OTK, super powerful, meta-breaking decks. We don't know yet. But I'm going to show you guys what it looks like if you get three Harvesters on the board. And I'm going to show you a god coming back from the dead. Okay, so the reason I wanted to test this is because the way that the Harvester procs is not straightforward. It says when your god takes damage, heal. But it doesn't actually do that. If you have a bunch of creatures on the board all at once and they all die simultaneously, you take that much damage first and then you die before you heal. At least that's how it was in the past. So I wanted to test this out before I got all excited about this new combo idea. So here, we obviously don't have access to the real cards yet from the new set. So I played against the AI and I faked having multiple Harvesters on the board. We got Skull Scepter equipped. We've got Empire Reborn in hand and Ragnarok. And that's the key. 
So I'm going to go ahead and do a third harvester here just for the fun of it. See what happens. And then we obviously don't have perseverance. So I'm going to go ahead and get a third creature out. Effectively, this would be like having three creatures. And now here we go, Ragnarok. So at the end of the turn, I wanted to know what would happen. Would I die? What order would things happen in these days? It's been a long time since I have seen anyone play the Harvester. So here we go. We're going to end our turn, and we're going to witness the Harvester in action. And who's going to die first? And there it is. We died and then gained health. Who just won this game? At this point, I literally have no idea. My money's on him. But no, it turns out that even though we died first, we came back to life and won the game. I have never seen anything like this in God's Unchained history. I mean that with no hyperbole. That is insane to me. I don't know if this is the intended way that this card is supposed to work. I don't even think the card works properly. When you take damage, you immediately then heal, but that's not how it works. It doesn't all group together and it's weird. And so it used to work one way and now it seems like it works a different way. So we're gonna have to see more testing, especially once all the new cards come out. I'm really looking forward to testing out bitter endings and perseverance in a real live game and seeing what's up. I'm definitely gonna make that meme deck. Big shouts to Carnival Big Top for coming up with this idea. We were discussing ideas with the new cards in my Discord, which by the way, there's a link to my Discord in the description below. So if you guys wanna hop on in and join the Discord, feel free. And until next time, I'm gonna keep theory crafting some insane decks and I'll let you guys know anything else that I come up with.